something? Yeah, man, Jamal, Black Tree TV. You rolling? So we here with Sway. At, at, Black we always, Tree TV, act like you know. We always listening to you the in the morning. The constantly growing. I <laughs> okay. love that. <laughs> we always listening to Sway in the morning. Uh -huh. But now we on this Netflix junket for Six Underground. I want to know, like, what... When you have the time, what are you binge watching on Netflix? What's your binge? Oh, man, the 4400 um, is one of the things I'm watching um, right now. The 4400, I've been kind of hooked on that. Um, Stranger Things was something I was watching for a while. Um, damn, man, what is this show called that I was just watching? It was talking about how the gladiators back in ancient times were all vegetarians. Um, yeah, I can't think of the name of it, but uh, I watch Netflix all the time, man. That's what I actually watch is yeah, all yeah. I watch. You like these action movies and all that? Like yeah, yeah. Things? Six Underground, I'm going to be, um, Ryan Reynolds, is. I consider him a, somebody I've known for years. I've interviewed him for years since the days of Amityville Horror. Uh, and all of his shows, Deadpool, all his series, all his uh, movies, X-Men, they've all... Anything he's in, I try to support. And so him being at Six Underground, I know it's going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching it, um, and that's why I'm here. Why are you here? I'm here because I, I love the action. I love Netflix. I love yeah. movies. So yeah. What are you watching right now? What I'm watching, I'm watching uh, Money Heist. In, in Brazil, it's called La Casa de Papel. Okay, Money Heist. Yeah. I've been, that's on my things to watch is Money yeah. Heist. Yeah. Well, I heard that's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. They're about to have season four, so that's... We just came back from Brazil checking it out, so it's, uh, it's, it's popping. I watched um, Dion Cole's comedy special, so I love all the comedy spe specials that come on Netflix. Dave Chappelle's last comedy special as well. Um, so there's, there's a rumor that Eddie Murphy is going to get his comedy special on Netflix. They gave Dave about $60 million. How much do you think they're going to give Eddie, Eddie? Murphy? Yeah. <laughs> 90 <laughs> That's Eddie Murphy, man. To get Eddie Murphy to come back, he got, he got to at least match Dave. You know, I mean, I know Dave has been more active, obviously, but it's Eddie Murphy, you know, so I would love to see that. I got to ask you some, a little politics before you go, because you've had, you've had Obama, you've had Kamala Harris. Were you surprised when Kamala uh, dropped out the race? Did you see that, that coming at that time? No, nah, it's been difficult for her. I think it was um, a lot of um, convolution in her, uh, in her campaign. A lot of people wanted her to take more accountability for her track record. Um, in the past um, as a uh, prosecutor and um, I don't know if she sufficiently really explained her position uh, properly and it's hard when you got to fill with so many people you know it's only so many people that's going to continue to donate money it's costly uh, when her campaign I think campaign manager left and made those disparaging comments I think that was kind of a downhill spiral but I love um, I love Kamala she's an amazing person we actually worked together in the past. I'm from the Bay. Uh, she actually gave me an award for community service um, and a lot of stuff that we were doing back then. And listen, man, that makes her a viable uh, co co contender to be a VP, possibly, you know, if she wants to. Uh, Supreme Court Justice. Supreme Court Justice. Uh, she's brilliant at what she does. I, I don't think it's a, a, a mark on her political career at all. And I'm looking forward to seeing what she does next. She represents diversity. She's a powerful woman. And she's a woman of color, um, and she uh, she she knows her game, man. You know, it's just the field is so crazy yeah, for the I mean, Democrats. So, and, and lastly, I mean, it's fair that Bloomberg comes in with this money now. He's like rated fifth in the rankings right now. No debate. I mean, yeah. I mean, what does it say about Our the system, people's decisions uh, or, or the system? The system uh, that you know, money talks. Yeah. I mean, he only been in the race how many weeks? Miami Dade. So money talks, man, and so that's part of the reason why she had to drop out. Money talks, but you know he's no stranger to the political uh, field. He, you know, served three terms as mayor here. That third ter term was kind of, you know, interesting how that happened. Um, he knows business, obviously. You know, he knows um, how to govern, obviously. So let's see what happens. He's gonna have to get up there and speak at some point. You know, I mean, he kind of flip flopped on uh, what was it? Um, on, uh, uh, stop and frisk. You know, he kind of flip flopped on that, and people are going to point that out. And uh, that's something that apology was kind of quick and, you know, uh, kind of quick and uh, shallow. We'll see what happens with it. Yeah. All right. Well, can't wait to hear you next. I mean, keep on talking. We'll keep hey, on man, listening thing, and watching, brother. man. Appreciate like it, bro. Doing, Thank right. you, man. Yeah.